Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are going thrifting again today. I am here at St. Vincent de Paul, LA. It's one of my favorite thrift stores here in LA. It's absolutely just like, it's the largest thrift store in LA. So many gems to find and I'm excited to take you guys with me. Let's go. in the men's section because it's the smallest section here at this location so I figured breeze through that really quick and maybe find some denim I'm not really like looking for anything in particular because I found so many good pieces last trip so it's just kind of anything stands out to me <laughs> men's denim was kind of a bust there was like my size section was like this big it was not big at all now i'm in the men's dress shirts and just kind of looking for like neutral plaids flannels oversized sweatshirts went through the men's dress shirts. I only found two things. Um, I've been wanting like a white button up. So this one is by Calvin Klein and it actually is brand new. It has the tags still on it. And then I also found this button up. It's like a really soft cozy material and really cool buttons. So that white button up was like an item on my thrift list. This is like it's nice but do I really need it? So I'm currently in the men's sweaters and I just found this sweater. I think it is so funny with like the little golfers, little cable, chunky cable knit. $6.99. Of course it's not one of the sale items because I never have that kind of a look, but I think it's worth keeping. OMG, my new favorite color. Okay, upon further investigation, it just looks really worn right here in this knitted portion, and I'm scared. It's like just a few washes away from becoming unraveled. 
so I'm going to leave it behind. to find some amazing faux leather pants either chocolate brown or black i just feel like there is so much awful potential sun is like setting just got some fresh fruits and veggies from the fruit stand i found like a couple things at st vincent de paul but nothing like jaw dropping or so exciting there is a goodwill that's like right around the corner that's where i'm parked right now so i'm gonna go in there and check it out i mean while we're here it was literally i could have walked here from there but i didn't um so i figured why not just go in there we're here let's check it out and see what else they have I'm gonna finish this fruit and then I'll head in. Oops. It's just like a little beat up. I don't know if like too much or like is it a look?
I'm so glad I popped into that Goodwill because I found the gem of the day, which was the Michael Kors sweatshirt. I didn't end up getting the Aloha sweatshirt. My battery's blinking, it's probably gonna cut me off. Um, so let's go home and let's do the haul. I didn't get the Aloha sweatshirt because of the stains. Ah! Hey you guys, I am back with the haul, so let's jump right in. First, I'm just going to bore you with some home decor. I found this bowl. I showed you guys this in the store. I did end up getting it. It's this beautiful stain of wood, and I just thought it was kind of a unique bowl with a fun little shape, perfect to stylize in a bookshelf. It has a couple of dings, but I actually feel like it gives it a little character, and I didn't mind, so I got it for $3. I also found a couple of books. I'm always keeping my eyes open for that beautiful vintage antique looking binding these they're actually like readers digest version of books they have that beautiful is it sage like sage moss green that i'm just in love with right now i just felt like it would be perfect to stylize on one of our shelves as well as getting the readers digest version of like 12 books I got it for $1.99 each. If you know me at all, you know that I love coffee. I probably drink way too much coffee, but it gets me through life. So I saw this coffee dawn to dusk. It's actually a book by Starbucks, um, Taste Made, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of try new and different coffee recipes. And it's also just like a really cute like coffee table book. The most random find of the day was this record. It's the Chicago Symphony. And if I'm being totally honest, I just originally picked it up because I thought that the cover was so stunning and in such great shape. I just love this very old school photo. And then on the inside, it had all of these like beautiful pages, like a little book within the record. I love any and all types of music, definitely a musical household. So I, you know, I look forward to hearing the beautiful sounds of the Chicago Symphony. I also finally found some cargo pants. I had definitely been looking for like a khaki colored cargo pant. And while I know the style isn't for everyone, it was definitely an item on my thrift list. So I don't know, I was excited to check it off. This extremely basic and boring white button-up dress shirt. I found it in the men's section. It was new with tags. It's by Calvin Klein. I've been looking for a white button-up just as like a layering piece. There's so many cute like academia preppy type styles um, that I really felt like I needed a white, a plain white button-up. And it was quite a score to find it brand new. No stains, perfect. And I got it for $5.99 this beautiful cable knit oversized sweater. It is so soft and comfortable and cozy. At this point, you guys know that I'm just obsessing over this beautiful shade of green. The funny thing is I don't even really know what exactly the shade is. <laughs> I say like five different ones. I don't know, it's like sage or moss, kind of like a neutral, calming green. But I've, I've just been gravitating towards this color and it makes me really happy. And with that white button up underneath, it's just the perfect layering combo. Ah yes, the Michael Kors crew neck. I'm not really like a brands girl, but just like the white piping and the detail in the front, it's kind of hard for the camera to pick it up, but it says has like Kors embossed. I'm actually really glad now that I didn't get the Aloha sweatshirt that was in front of it because I think it would have been too small. They were both the same size and this Michael Kors one looked larger. So I think the Aloha one just wouldn't have been my kind of fit. And then last but certainly not least, I grabbed this beautiful flannel of this delicious dark green and brown with some red mixed in. It is a uh, winter dream. It's flannel season, you guys. So break out all the flannels. Thank you so much for watching and for coming thrifting with me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really supports me and my channel, but I hope that you're all having a fabulous day, darling, and I'll see you later. Bye.